Hey guys, I tried to make a video a couple weeks ago and didn't quite work out. I finished recording and looked over and hadn't recorded anything. Mm, special. This is a Bust Your Stash video brought to you by Beth Brown over at the Craft Shack. She had suggested, as, as we all have so many um, tools and products and so on, to bust our stash instead of going out and buying more. And currently my husband is not working, so this is perfect for me. Well, I had been toying with the idea of not doing Christmas cards this year and then decided to do some. And so I figured the fastest way to do it would be able to use some stencils. And I had some, I think they're crafters workshop stencils, and if they aren't, sorry. And took this. My husband and I had found this months ago. Let's see if we can get it in there. It's uh, Deco Art Dimensional Effects, and it's basically molding paste. And I put it through the stencil, and when it came out, it was really clear, and it was rubbery. So. I got thinking about it, and I had a whole bunch of these little makeup tins here. Aha! This is not even zoomed in. I thought it was. Okay, we have a bunch of these little makeup tins, little makeup things from like the dollar store. Sorry about the glare. And decided to take that and just spread it over. And I also decided to get some of my big chunky glitter. Hopefully you can see that without making too much noise. And I did not take off auto adjust. Uh, let me see if I can do that. Out of focus, because I just saw that zoom. All right. So I took up some of that makeup, took up some of the glitter, and mixed it in. And it still came up with something like this. So, I decided, well, let's just take the makeup because it's really rubbery. It, I mean, it feels, when I touch it, it feels like it's rubber. So, if I take the clear and tap it on my dish, which I have off screen, And hopefully the plumber's not going to come on doing the video, so we'll see. And then just spread it on. It just adds a really nice pearl, and it sticks. You know, I, I spread it on, and then I rub it, and it, it seems to stay on just fine. Another Buster Staff, and, and, this, and this stash, rather, and this background paper. I usually use paper that or cardstock that I've decorated painted, jelly printed, whatever. Well, I have boxes of, uh, I don't know, scrapbooking papers, I guess what you'd want to call it. So I just finished that. And I'll put this thing back in before it gets lost. And uh, I decided to cut it up using Spellbinders Matting Basics die. So I knew I would have it all nice and you know even and I use the biggest one so in case my husband ended up putting these together so I'm just rubbing this in now so I make sure it sticks and then I wipe away any excess and you've got a nice nice shimmery shinery Ooh, there you go piece of uh, paper to stick on top of card and <laughs> ended up doing trees and everything else well let me tell you like I said, my husband is not working right now. So I asked him if he would put the makeup on. And I had mixed some of the gold in there and had some uh, glitter. Let's see if you can, I don't know. I don't know if you can get that or not. Yeah, you get a little bit of the glitter. But, so I asked him to put the makeup on. Well, for one thing, his computer ended up all gl glitter because he had to do it beside that for some reason. But this is what happens when your husband does the makeup stuff. You end up with silver bottoms and gold tops and pink trees. Okay. Yeah, that's really good. Um, 
<laughs> we'll have to work with it. I'll just give that one to somebody special. <laughs> Pink trees. I also ended up doing some ornaments and and uh, I had a stencil that I got for Paper Wishes again. I'm not sure who it's by, so forgive me. Uh, I had four different four different ornaments on it, and all I did was, as you can see up on the top here, um, took a gel pen. And I've got one right here. Let's see if I can scoot it over. I've got this set up really weird. And just drew a line, made sure it was nice and heavy, drew a nice little bow. Yeah, I know that looks yucky right now. Put a center and then filled it in on the bottom. And yeah, I could go all out and put a lot of um, shading and so on and so forth, but I didn't. And then I just drew the two ribbon ends, okay, and made sure that there were some thin parts and some thick parts. Let me swish this to make sure it doesn't stop recording on me. All right, real simple, right? And like I said, this is this is geared or cut so that it will be just one layer on a card, on a card base, on an A2 card base, which is the smallest one. Um, the red color, shoot, that's what I didn't grab. Hold on. See, I thought I had everything. The red color is, excuse the crunching. Boy, I hate that when people don't do that to me. Is this Delta Texture Magic uh, paint. I don't think that's around anymore. We had gotten all these on clearance years ago. I mean, I've got several different colors. But that was kind of flat looking. So I had the choice. I could put some makeup on that. Or in the case of this, I mixed the regular um, that molding paste and I took some glitter and I took here's some more crinkling another clearance item as you can see from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby is the only the closest one we have here for a, a big box store. This one's crimson. It's called Precious Metal Color and I mixed it with that dimensional paint because it's really 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 thick and I tell you, it went forever, and it puts out the most beautiful shimmer shine here. Let me see if I can find one. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. There's a, a real shimmer to it. Okay. Then I decided, well, you know, I'm getting bored. Leave it to me. And I want to do a different stencil. And I saw it hot off the press or paper wishes, whatever you want to call it. Some a really gorgeous fancy tree stencil. And I said, okay. I'm supposed to be busting my stash. Why don't I try and make one? I had gotten this from Hobby Lobby quite a bit back too. Here you go. And let's see if we can get rid of the glare. It's called Stencil Blanks Show-Offs. I highly recommend you do not get this unless you want to use it for masks and it would be real simple cutting. I took, I drew a design, put it under some glass like I showed you in a prior, um, prior video and had it had the pattern taped under the glass and then drew it around and then cut it out. Well, that looks nice and pretty, doesn't it? However, it doesn't work worth a darn because, I mean, I used a burning tool to cut it out. I had cut out the start and found out how thick this stuff is. I sh really regret not taking a dollar store book divider, which is really thin, and using a uh, the exacto knife and cutting it out. Um, I did try it using the uh, paint that that dimensional paint and uh, a shade of green out of here, the lime. Well, it 
was so thick. Look, look at the dimension on that. And it just went under all of these things. You're saying, well, Tina, it looks like a pretty clear pattern right there. Well, yeah, because you know what I did? I cut out every little last one of these pieces and glued them onto another uh, piece of cardstock. And then I used gel pens and drew out the other, the star on the other. Now, while we're still here, I wanted to make sure you all knew you can take a gel pen, draw it out, and of course it's going to be kind of light. Let it dry overnight. You can layer and layer and layer, and you can layer different colors and change colors and so on, and it will get darker and darker and darker. And of course, you can shade into colors and so on and so forth. Another thing is, I don't know if you know, but you can use a gel pen, write out something in your handwriting, and guess what? You can sit there and put embossing powder on it and emboss that because it stays wet long enough. Obviously, you can't sit there and wait an hour and put it on it, but if you do it right away, you can emboss that. And, you know, the whole point of all this is make sure you experiment. Have fun with your stash. You probably have more than you ever think, thought you had, actually. In fact, I was talking with some people the other day about acrylic inks, and I just went in my drawer and found a whole stash of acrylic inks that I had forgotten I had bought, again, on clearance. See, now, this is one thing I don't like to go shopping with my hubby because, if anything, we always hit the clearance section. I buy, like, 5,000 times more than what I normally would if I was there by myself. So, use your stash up. Bust your stash, as Beth Brown says. And, uh... Let's see what you make. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'll try to get more videos out. I'm kind of languishing in that area. I'm going to put this one up and I will show you um, what I'm going to be doing my next video on, which will probably be today. And I bet you that faded out because I thought I think what's going on is I've got headphones on that I think I'm recording through, and guess what? I'm not. I bet you it's recording right through the camera. Now this is the original drawing I had done with the tree, and I got so disgusted with that stencil, I've put it on a stamp to carve, and I've enlarged some of the areas so it shouldn't take long. And I'll show you. There we go. There we go. I'll show you how to carve a stamp. I know I've done that before, but this looks like it'd be really fast and simple. And I'm thinking using the kiss technique on this, you know, you ink it up and then you take a, because it's a, it'll be a solid stamp for the most part. You ink it up and then you kiss another stamp to it. Just think of that with lace on it. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? So I'll see you with that video. Thanks for joining me. Have a good day. God bless you. Bye.